Hello everybody, my name is Tubus Plot and welcome back to another gaming library video. So today, I think it's probably my largest one. I don't know if PS4 was maybe my largest one. Uh, it's definitely up there. I'm going to be going over my PS2 games. Oh boy, there's a lot here. And my dog's sitting and standing in my lap. Cooper, what do you want? You want to be in the another video? No? Okay. What do you want? Gotta make a quick video, okay? As much as I can. Um, I guess I'll just go in the series order first. So, first would be Thrillville. Oh, the sun's coming out. I'm a little bright. Oh, maybe they'll play a little bit more. So, first is Thrillville. Um, for those who don't know, this is a game series. Throw a bill off the rails. Um, made by Frontier, who also did the uh, Planet Coaster games, or at least this Planet Coaster. So basically, it's the, kind of the same premise. You just make, you, have, you own your own theme park, and you can do whatever you want. Um, I have replayed these games at least three times each. Um, I, I just love these games to death. I can play them as many times as I want. They'll never get boring to me. I love them. Uh, actually, how do I need to do this? I need to like reorganize these so they make sense when I put them back in my shelf. All right, so next is the LucasArts Battlefront. Um, and Battlefront 2. I feel like I put more time into Battlefront 2 than Battlefront 1. I don't remember if there's campaign. There's gotta be. There's gotta be a campaign. I really don't remember. There's gotta be. But I think I put more time into Battlefront 2 just because the instant action was just so much easier. Like, it was more fun to play with in instant action than, um... Or like whichever one it is that you can make like your own playlist kind of thing. That yeah, was cool. And I do have the. So, <laughs> I did own the first Battlefront, the EA Battlefront one. Um, and then I got rid of it because I wasn't playing it. And then two was announced. I wasn't all aboard it. Even before the whole loot box controversy, I wasn't fully behind it. I just didn't care. Um, but now I own Battlefront 1 and 2 again because it was like $8 on the store for a bundle um, on the PlayStation Store. So I own them. So. Next would be LEGO Star Wars 1 and 2. I don't have the complete saga. I guess just because then otherwise like these are redundant to have. And I'm fine with having two separate games. <laughs> yeah. These like I think... Yeah, th these LEGO games were fun. LEGO Star Wars. Alright, next is gonna be a trilogy. It's gonna be... The Spider-Man Trilogy. Hooray. <laughs> so... As we all know, the middle child is one of the best of all t like one of the greatest superhero games of all time spider-man 2 um but it's predecessor you couldn't hit the ground <laughs> like you had to keep swinging from rooftop to rooftop you could not touch the ground whatsoever if you did you died and that's really kind of pathetic in my opinion um and then the third one i didn't really mind this game it felt like it felt like two, but I don't know. I I, I liked it. I, I like three. <laughs> um, besides, I do have a two different. I did. I have two save. I don't know if I still do actually. I did, or I still do have three different or two different files. One where, uh, like, I played the campaign all the way through, then the second one. Uh, 
where I stopped before you lose the symbiote suit just because I liked it. Where, like, you could swing up or jump up high, and then you could, like, land on the ground, and the ground would just shatter underneath your feet. I thought that was great. Alright, time for my favorite series of all time. Ratchet and Clank, which I... I... I almost finished a playthrough on it. I got to the last fight um, with Shrek and just I was just getting frustrated and I just quit and I just watched the cinematic of it online. Next was going Commando, which is what uh, I am on now. I'm just like going back and replaying all the Rash and Clank games um, that I have. I do want to get the future trilogy, which is like Tools of Destruction, Crack in Time. Uh, I can't remember now what else is in the future trilogy that's on PS3 besides uh, All for One. But yeah, I want to own like all the Ratchet and Clank games if possible. So yeah, going Commando. I just realized that it makes a two. I know on here it's gonna be backwards, but I just realized that this is a two. <laughs> I don't know if it was intentional or not. But I just happened to notice that, and that's awesome. Um, I think I'm almost done with this game, maybe. I don't remember where I'm at, but like I, I'm, I'm at the point. I'm at the same point where I'm getting really frustrated, so I just take a break. Up your arsenal. And w at one point, when I was still looking up like all these games, like Ratchet and Clank, all of them did extremely well, except for Going Commando. I don't know why. Killing Commando kind of was meh. Deadlocked, which it, from what I remember, Deadlocked took a very dark turn compared to the other three. Um, I like Deadlocked. I don't. Somehow I'm thinking it wasn't well received, but like I said, I looked everything up and it it seemed to do well. Um. Next two are the spin-off titles, which were originally on PSP, um, then got ported to PS2. Secret Agent Clank and Size Matters. I always wanted to play Secret Agent Clank, and then when I went to a secondhand store uh, in town, and I found it, I'm like, I knew this was ported. But I didn't know Clank, Secret Agent Clank was ported, and I really want to play this game, like, really badly, but I want to finish the original saga first. Next is my wrestling titles, and some you may have seen in um, a retro haul, I think. First would be Smackdown, Here Comes... Nope, Shut Your Mouth, Not Here Comes the Pain. Which I did play some, and just, like, the fact that they have like a soundtrack playing over matches that you're playing, it's so obnoxious. And the same thing with um, uh, Day of Reckoning. It, it, I don't know why they thought that was a good idea, it's just obnoxious. SmackDown vs. Raw 2007. Uh, 2008, which is, this is my first, and uh, believe it or not, this is my first entry. Like, this is my entrance into professional wrestling, uh, 2008. Um, yeah, hell of a time to play this game and then realize that, I don't know, just to think back that that was, this is my entry point into wrestling, which is a video game. And I do have it signed by Carlito from an indie event. An independent promotion show. And then, 2010. I do not own 2009. At this point, I do want to own 2009. I don't think it was that great of a game, from what I understand. Um, I do want to get it, just so I can have it, but... Yeah, I don't have 2009. <laughs> so I skip from 8 to 10. So there's all my organized ones. The rest of these are so-so. Um, and then some of these I did pick up at a thrift market, or thrift stores. Actually all of these are, these four here. Tony Hawk Underground 2 for the PlayStation 2. I did not ever really play the Tony Hawk games. 
Um, and so when I found when I found Underground 2, and then what's this? Pro Skater 3. I immediately had to buy them just because I know that they were good games in their prime. Um, Medal of Honor Frontline. Apparently this is also a very good game and a good series. I have Frontline here. Um, I don't remember which one I have for PC because it was free on the Origin, on EA's Origin launcher. I don't remember. Why am I thinking like Front Assault or something? I don't remember what it is, but I have a, I have one of these on PC. And then Call of Duty World at War, Final Frontier, or Final Fronts. I haven't played it yet. I haven't played Medal of Honor either, but at some point I will. Um, I did play each of these a little bit, the Tony Hawk games, and um, controls are hard, <laughs> in my opinion. Maybe it's just because I never really played them before. Um, the rest of these are in mixed bag. Alright, so next, Sly Cooper and Thievius Raccoonus. I saw this at the same secondhand store. I did originally own this game. Um, and then when I found it, I'm like, yes, I'm going to buy this right now because next time I come in, it's not going to be there. So I just immediately picked it up and bought it. Um, if I find the next two games, I will buy them immediately. I don't remember ever finishing this game. Um, I did start playing it not long after I bought it. But um, I quit playing it just because I know I started Ratchet and Clank because I'm really bad at starting games and not finishing them or starting series and not finishing so I just really wanted to finish Ratchet and Clank before I jump into Sly Cooper. Next is Shadow of the Hedgehog. I did own this originally. Um, I bought this at the same second hand store. Um, but then I saw um, my friend Ulti Zeta do a playthrough on this or Let's Play. And I'm like, I need this game again. I doubt I'll ever play it, but I just want to have it. Just because it was a part of my original PSD library. Um, I think these next three, well, these last three in this pile, they're all going to be, well, last three in general in this video, they're all going to be, I think, probably in the retro hall. Um, so next, Harry Potter Order of the Phoenix. I did have... I'm trying to remember, I had Sorcerer's Stone Chamber of Secrets on PC back in the day. I had Order of the Phoenix on PS2. I got rid of it. I had Goblet of Fire on both PS2 and Game Boy Advance. I didn't like how it played on PS2. So I quit playing it and I did finish it on Game Boy. Obviously I still have Order of the Phoenix and I did have Half-Blood Prince. Uh, I got rid of it. The only reason I kept Order of the Phoenix is because it's such a big, not big, but it's such a large, like basically you could go anywhere on like at Hogwarts, you can go anywhere. And I just like that you can do that. I don't know, just like all the open world exploration for what there is. Um, I, I, I just thoroughly enjoy just like wandering around the school and everything doing it. Plus the game itself isn't that bad, from what I remember. It might have not aged well. It looks okay according to the back art cover. It doesn't look too bad for PS2. Yeah, I gotta finish up my from the way I'm sitting, my right leg is asleep. Um, yeah, I think these last three are probably from the on a retro haul video. So Fire Pro Wrestling Returns. I did play this a little bit. Oh boy. <laughs> Even then I did the, like the the GM mode, if you will. Um and just I have no idea what's going on, but I have it. 
so that's basically a summary of a lot of my games now I just have them and I don't play them uh, Family Guy the video game I did all I did play this for a bit um, it just doesn't seem like it was it just seemed like it like the plot is so lost <laughs> But then again, it's Family Guy, so what do you expect? I think it's more or less like, I, like I said, I did start it and I stopped playing it, but I think it's just because I had no idea what was happening. It, like, it wasn't making sense, but again, it's Family Guy, it doesn't have to. And then last is Jackass the game. I bought it just because I didn't know it was a thing. Um, I haven't played it yet. I want to play it with my friend drum set, and I don't know if we ever really will, but It'll be a good time nonetheless. So that's it for my PS2 library. I, it's probably gonna expand just like all my other part, li, parts of my library. They're all gonna expand and grow. So that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to drop a like on this video and to stay in tune with more videos like this, uh, as well as more future content. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification button. Otherwise, thank you everybody so much for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.